there is simply not enough money in the system to do what we have collectively pledged to do to provide that kind of assistance. And there is, um, right now, the UN has only been able to, to uh, raise about 38% of what is a really unprecedented appeal for the Syria crisis of 7.4 billion, and about half of the 704 million required for Iraq. And this is also the kind of crisis that it's very hard to supplement government funding with private funding. And I'm sure David can verify that you probably raised more in, after the Nepal earthquake or the Philippines typhoon in one day than you've done for much of the Syrian crisis. We would have done, but we announced that we weren't doing programming in Nepal, so we didn't okay. do anything for Nepal. But your, your point is a really, really good one. Yeah, I mean, the, it, these crises are too complex. They're too complicated to mobilize the private donors that are the backbone of a response to a natural disaster. And so we also, there's been a great deal of effort over the last five years to engage a broader set of governmental donors besides the U.S., the European Union, both collectively and as the EU, um, Japan, and, and sometimes Australia. Beyond that small group of donors, there's not a consistent and generous contribution to the humanitarian system. And so we are just not raising enough money to do everything that we would like to do, meet basic needs as well as build resilience.